I'm testing out a Sony 5100 with a 50 millimeter Sony lens 1.8. And I'm recording the audio with a giant squid mic into a Zoom H1 handy. Uh, I do prefer to fly with a broken wing. It's much more fun. I have stuff all over the place. I tried the the Rode Go to be a separate recorder, but I, I don't know. Maybe they all have the transmitter or the receiver has to be on. I don't know. But I just took one of the things, turned it on, but didn't record anything. Um, but this works. It's just funny because, you know... You know, like I said, there's always I have so much workflow issues. Anyway, I'm trying this little camera because I have two of them, and I need to satisfy a little teeny camera situation to go out in the field, do a little vlogs, be on the set somewhere. And I never, I originally bought one of those 5100s several years back for like 400 some dollars. Now I think you can pick them up for like a hundred and something or 200 bucks. They suck. Um, they overheat in six minutes. Um, there's no viewfinder. The color science sucks. The menu sucks. Um, so I just never, I was like, ah, this isn't going to work. And I went back to Canon. Anyway, um, I found a way with DaVinci. I bring the footage in. I desaturate it down to like 30% or so. First off, I crush the blacks a little bit. And then I uh, color space transform to the cinema log and I drop in a Fuji, I think 65. And it's, I really like the look. So I'm going to use them. And um, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'll, I'll do a, uh, a before look and then I'll hit the LUT. Or whatever the heck I do, the color grade. I'm not a colorist, but you can see the difference of how it comes in and what I do. And I'm going to use them. I have two of them. So I can have a two camera shot and shoot little clips or little vlogs. Uh, we'll see. And we'll see what the audio sounds like. All right, that's it.